Pretty significant moment in the history of the West uh, because our state and the whole western U.S. was built on water resources and projects and on the Colorado River in particular. NAU professor Ben Rudell and his team have been tracking Colorado River water usage for years. They recently came out with an updated study showing where our water is being used the most. The big issue is really irrigated agriculture. Unfortunately, we can't solve the Colorado River uh, water shortage without focusing on irrigated agriculture. New study finds water from crops accounts for more than half of the river water used, and 90% of that amount goes to cattle feed crops. Riddell says he knows it's impossible to ask everyone to give up meat and certain cuts could hurt communities where livelihood is based around agriculture. Is how to support uh, and also help those communities in, that focus on agriculture, those farm towns, to adapt. There is some good news, though. The study also found conservation efforts have helped slightly, but more cuts still need to be made. The rough cut that needs to happen immediately to stabilize the river, it's about 3 million acre feet per year. And uh, that comes out, depending on the year, to somewhere around a quarter of the total flow in the river. Just last year, Arizona, Nevada, and Colorado agreed to cut water usage by 3 million acre feet. However, that only runs through 2026, so more permanent changes need to happen. We hope that those new numbers can contribute to an informed public debate and conversation about this new Colorado River negotiation. And overall, Riddell says this isn't just a one state issue. It won't be possible for any one state uh, or any one part of the basin to solve that equation by themselves. There really needs to be a compromise solution. Reporting in Flagstaff, Mason Carroll for Arizona's Family.